M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Alunce HD1 DMR VHF UHF radio. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe. 73. So you've got yourself an Alunce HD1 DMR radio, quite a lot to learn here. So I'm going to put this link in the description. On this you've got the user manual, different countries there. You can download it. The software which is your programming software, whether it's GPS or non-GPS, different versions here. You've also got your firmware information here and download and even uh, instructions how to do it. And you've got your uh, USB driver. So we might as well download all of these and have a look. So let's do one at a time. There goes the doorbell. Let's do... That'd be thing worth looking at as well. Yeah, it's all here. Let's have a quick look at it. Get the alliance. Get a programming cable. Download the firmware. Connect your HD1 with PC. Use a programming cable. Press the PTT and the first side key, so the button beneath the PTT. And turn on. Firmware, connect. Yeah, I think it looks quite good, doesn't it? Get the version, which we can download. Update. Wow, that's a very straightforward procedure. So I'm quite pleased with that, although I don't have the radio. <laughs> um, USB driver, we'll look at that as well. And we'll hit software as well. That will be the programming software. Let's just double click it. Uh, show all. We've already got the software here, so we'll just click that and we'll run it, although I've already run it to be honest, but um, let's run it anyway and see what happens. Yes, uh, it's already on your system, so we'll cancel and then we'll just go to where it is, which is here, look, HD1, so you can see it. And I've looked at it briefly, it looks quite straightforward to me. You've got basic settings, channels, zones, a radio for your broadcast radio, usual contacts, you know, digital contacts, receive group lists, and DMR services. So, we're not doing the programming quite yet, so back to the uh, software that we're downloading. Let's have a look here, we were doing the USB driver, won't we? So let's have a quick look at the USB driver. So double click, USB driver here, Windows, Vista, that's an old one, isn't it? So download the one that's suitable for your computer. Not really sure looking at this, but hey, download the one you think it is. Set up XE, let's do this, yes. Welcome to Install Shield USB Serial to Serial. That's one option there. So, like I said, I haven't got the radio, but basically download the correct one for your for your needs. There's the link there. So this is just a video showing you the links. Now it says you've even got some code plugs here. Let's uh, let's might as well get one. Double click like so. And then, uh, oh, a long list of uh, ones here. Any for the UK? UK code plug, let's hit it. Right, so we have a code plug. Let's hit this. Wow, uh, got quite a few. <laughs> let's, um, let's extract it to where we're gonna find it. We've got a file here of HD somewhere. Let's uh, let's put it here, HDSDR for now, and then we can even extract other stuff too. So yeah, here's the links. Check it out, and then we're going to do some programming videos after. Seven three, all the best.